first week of the NFL regular season began with an impressive performance by the Seattle Seahawks, defeating the Packers 36-16. So Seattle starts 1-0 uh, once again. Uh, Packers start 0-1 for the third straight season, which happened to be against an NFC West opponent, twice against the twice against the the 49ers in 2012 and 2013, and this year against the Seattle Seahawks in Seattle. And now it is time for the rest of your picks for Week One. Let's get to it. So I don't have time for this bullshit. Here we go. First up, Jacksonville going on the road to face the Philadelphia Eagles. You know how I feel about Philadelphia. I think they're overrated, though I still have to pick the Eagles to make them to, to clinch this division. Though I really should, though I really should, should, though I really wish I took Dallas for some reason to win that NFC East for some reason. I, I don't know why, but any event, I'll take Philadelphia here. I don't think. I think it's good. I think Jackson. It's going to be a lot closer than the what ten points that the Eagles are favored by. At least I think it's going to be a lot closer. But I'll take Philadelphia to win here. Browns going on the on the road to Heinz Field to face the Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers. End of story. No explanation required. Vikings taking on the St. Louis Rams. I've been I've been contemplating on this pick for. A lot of picks, really, but I've been contemplating on this pick. You know, part of me wants to take the Rams, and the other part of me wants to take Minnesota Vikings. So here we go, the first coin flip of the 2014 season. And just one, and just one coin. Heads, I'll take the St. Louis Rams. Patriots going on the road to face the Miami Dolphins. Uh, last year, the Dolphin. Last year, these two teams uh, split. Of course, the Miami Dolphins uh, winning the, uh, beating the Patriots uh, in their own home in Miami. But, but of course, uh, we'll wait. For some reason, I gotta take. I got. I got to flip the corner of this one too. Heads. Heads. It landed heads, but I'll take the New England Patriots. It's, uh, it's going to be. It's, it should be another close game, just like the last, just like the last time these two teams fa faced each other, which happened to be in Miami. But let's move on. Oakland Raiders take on the new, the New York Jets. You know, if Matt Schaub was playing this game, I would easily take the New York Jets because I think Matt Schaub is done. But that proves why Matt Schaub is done. That proves why Derek Carr is getting the start. For some reason, I gotta take the Oakland Raiders. I, I I don't know why, but I like the Raiders to win this game. So that's my bold prediction. The Raiders start 1-0 this season. <laughs> it's, it, though it would be the first time since 2011 since uh since they beat uh the fucking Broncos. Whatever. <laughs> Kyle Orton uh, dropping the pack, uh, dropping the ball uh, uh, in the fucking rain, but whatever, that was three years ago. Move on. Titans take it, going on the road to Arrowhead to face the Kansas City Chiefs. For some reason, I like the Tennessee Titans in this game. Uh, no Dwayne Bow. Uh, the Chiefs' offensive line is fucked up, um, and, the, and the only reason why the Chiefs beat the Titans last year was because of was because Ryan Fit because Ryan Fitzpatrick was playing quarterback. Um, Jake Locker, who's who's better than a lot of people think. Uh, I'm not gonna say he's top ten or even top fifteen, but he's but he's a lot bit but he's a lot better than people give him credit for. So yeah, I'm gonna take the Tennessee Titans. Yes, to even what? Yes, even at Arrowhead. You know, last year the Titans won won the season won their season opener against. Uh, the Steelers at Heinz Field. So, so I see a similar situation happening again. The Titans starting 1-0. Moving on. Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Baltimore Ravens. You can never tell with these games, but I'll take 
I'm going to take the Baltimore Ravens here. It's going to be it's going to be a close game, but but I just don't see it. It's in, I just don't see it. I just don't see Cincinnati winning this game. Even yes, even with Ray Rice serving a two game suspension, but whatever there. All right, New Orleans Saints taking on the Atlanta Falcons. And what and what should be one of the games of the week? Here we go. And for the rec and for those of you who have watched my or are watching my picks for the first time, heads for the home team, tails for the road team. Tails. I'll take the set. Uh oh. Washington Redskins. Ooh. Take on the Houston Texans. I'm gonna take the Houston. I'm gonna take the Houston Texans to lose to the Washington Redskins. I am not convinced with this Texan. I am not convinced that this Texas team is any good. I think every. I think this. I think it's fucking asinine that people think that they're gonna make the playoffs this year with. That, that's fucking bullshit. So yeah, take the Washington Redskins. The Texans are gonna fucking suck big this year. Here, they'll do better than last year record-wise. You know, they they went two and fourteen this year, or last year or whatever. This year they'll probably end up going four and twelve or something like that, or even five and eleven. That's my ceiling for this team. I just don't see it. I don't. I mean, now to be now, it's gonna be a close game because they still have. The Texans still have J.J. Watt and Jadavian Clowney. I, I, I think I dare say Jadavian Clowney is going to have a rookie of the year type of, of season. The problem, but the problem is, problem is, uh, Washington's offense is a lot better than Houston's offense, even with Andre Johnson in it and Aaron Foster. Really overrating the Texans. Big time. So yeah, take the Redskins to win this game. Ooh, I said Redskins. Ooh, quit. Call me a racist. Fuck out of here. Buffalo Bills going on the road to face the Chicago Bears. That Bears, end of story. This is this could get ugly real fast in this game. And the game is on Fox. So the reason why I bring that up is because I guess all of the Buffalo games, including the away games, are on Fox this year. That's how much CBS really loves Buffalo, I guess. But... <laughs> In any event, moving on. All right, the the four o'clock the four o'clock games are four twenty five games. Uh, first up, got the Carolina Panthers going on the road to face the Buccaneers. I'm gonna take the Tam I'm gonna take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And it's gonna it's it's gonna have nothing to do with how good the Buccaneers are gonna be. All right, it's not gonna be. It's not going to be about how good Lovey, a coach Lovey Smith is going to be, which I think he's overrated as fuck. I'm sorry. You know, it's going to have more to do with how much the Panthers are going to regress this year. That's basically all I'm basing this pick on. New, new wide receivers, a brand new offensive line. Oh, and by the way, Cam Newton might not be able to go. But even if Cam Newton is ready to go... I'm still taking the Buccaneers. End of fucking story. All right. This should be an interesting game. It's a good, you know, it's a good game for the traditionalist uh, uh, fans, but the San Francisco 49ers on the road to take, to, to take on the Dallas Cowboys. If the Niners were at full strength, I would have no problem. I would have no problem taking the 49ers to win this game. But here's the problem with that. But here's the problem with that. <laughs> everybody again, everybody's underrating the losses that the Niners have. You know, Dante Whitner, who's with the Cleveland Browns now. You know? Uh, Navarro Bowman is going to miss half the season. Everybody, you know, Navarro Bowman is still one of the best linebackers in the NFL. I'm not saying he's the best, but, you know, he's still one of the best. You know, and of course, Alden Smith being suspended for nine games. You know, the, and of course, uh, the Niners are struggling offensively in the preseason, but then again, 
I take I'm gonna take that with a grain of salt because it is preseason. But you know, since Kaepernick is trying to be a better quarterback, and I'm not talking about just scrambling left, scrambling right, scrambling down, scrambling back up, and then throwing a pass like a five, -year like what uh, twelve year olds do in Pee Wee football. So yeah, so yeah, I'm very concerned about the Niners here. So that's why I have to. This will be what the third, fourth coin flip. And that sucked. Let me try again. It landed heads. I'm going for it. Take. I know it landed heads. I'm taking the knives. I'm, I'm taking the knives. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't fucking do it. <laughs> I wanted to, but I'll take the 49ers. So moving on. All right, the Sunday night game. Colts taking on the Denver Broncos. Here's my problem with the Broncos. You have an overrated corner in Aqib Tlaib. You have, a, you have a, a pass rusher who cannot stay healthy anymore in, in DeMarcus Ware. How much does Peyton Manning have left in the tank? Granted, the Colts do not have a pass rush. Oh, and by the way, uh, going back to Denver, no Wes Wilker for this game. Uh, Danny Trevathan, uh, the Broncos' top tackler, done for an extended period of time. You know, granted, the Colts don't have... The Colts have overrated and and not good, not a good running back in uh, Trent Richardson. You know the Colts don't really have a real pass rush thanks to Robert Mathis's suspension. But one more coin flip. <sighs> Landed heads beat the fucking Colts, Denver. Beat the fucking Colts. Because I'm taking the Denver Broncos to win here. It's, it's a little tempting to take the it's a little tempting to take the Colts because of this bullshit, but I'm taking the Broncos. Alright, in the ESPN NFL Monday doubleheader, we got the Giants going going on the road to face the Detroit Lions. Lions win easily. So like, the Giants went 5 0 in the preseason. Whoop de fucking do. Nobody fucking cares. The Redskins had an undefeated preseason the year before, and how the fuck did they do? Okay? Fuck out of here. And last but not least, the second half of our ESPN NFL Monday doubleheader we have the San Diego Chargers facing the Arizona Cardinals. I, and I'm sorry, but I'm not a firm believer in the Arizona Cardinals. I might end up getting this wrong. But I'll take the San Diego Chargers. Uh, Carson Palmer is overrated as fuck. The offensive line is not that fucking great. You know, I understand the char I understand the Chargers get off to slow starts every year, but beer, but I think this year they start 1-0. So yeah, take the Chargers to win this game. Now, let me see if I picked every game. Yep, Jaguar, Jaguars, Eagles, yep, Steelers, yep, 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 yep. All right. So expect all expect any pick changes to be in the description down below, as always. So until next time, later, fuckers.